Hello, everyone. Good afternoon. Good evening. Um, let me see. I'm going to pause the recording for a few minutes so we can, uh, we're waiting for some of our elder mentors to log in and then we can get started. So um, feel free to uh, mute yourself for a few minutes and let's see. I'll check in and see who all is logging in. Thank you for being here. Welcome everyone. All right, I see for our elder mentors, we have Grandma Martha Nell, and then we have Grandma Dorothy. And then for our candidates, teacher candidates, our Kiowa language learners, we have, I see Gabby, Angie, Merlina, and I see Caleb is logging in. All right, awesome. Okay, Grandma Dorothy. Onde, onde, and bon. Oh. I said I'm going to talk Kiowa to you people from now on. On the only, I'm told, I'm so tired. I'm in form, I'm in melody. Oh, we have, I was just going over the list of who we have. So I think we can get started with our session. Um, let's see, someone just, oh, okay. I'm watching the waiting room to see if uh, we have people logging in. Um, okay, well, I think we can get started. I'm wondering, we usually start with the opening prayer. So... Let's see. I'm wondering, uh, Grandma Dorothy, if you could pray for us, Bay Dot Sai, to get us started. If you're oh, able to. The only. I hope. I hope. Dorothy, Dr. Dorothy, you can pay your Dorothy. Monday only. And get. Don't bother. They are holy, but her. I come. Yeah. Gazelbe. I'm paid on a toad. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. This beautiful. I want to give you another. It's, a, it's our talking to you that we cause. We difficult road in our own self. Beg it, don't get up, boom, baba. I go higher by Pelo, though. But dog came, though. You're the Lord, and you know everything. It's our plea for you to be with us through these times and to be fair to each Kiowa, to each person. That calls for your help. We know that you're the everlasting post that we can lean on. And we give you thanks for everything you do for us, for life, for food, for our families. We give you a lot of thanks and continue to bless us through your son's name. Amen. Uh -oh. Thank you, Grandma. Um, let's see. Okay, we have some more people logging in. Um, so let me just, uh, I think Miss Marion is logging in. All right. So um, I know for some of you, I know we just sent the uh, invitation out um, last week for um, our new teacher candidates. And so we do have some new teacher candidates here with us and so we're really excited to welcome our teacher candidates who are beginning their 
journey towards becoming credentialed to teach Kiowa language in our communities and in our schools. So very exciting. Um, so typically for these Wednesday sessions, we dedicate two hours um, of our time each week to focus on our language learning. Um, we usually have a focus topic um, that we uh, focus on for these sessions, and then we also do a lot of practicing. So um, we're really blessed because we have um, several of our elder mentors, our fluent Kiowa language speakers who also dedicate their time um, to support us and to teach us and provide us feedback on our pronunciation and also their resources. They can, um, we always have time during these sessions to ask any questions. If, uh, if you all are working on something and you have a question and you want to get a translation, we always save some time for that. And then we also, um, We'll go over the different components of the credentialing process in these sessions. So that way there's always a reminder. Um, and then we sometimes get updates from the Kiowa Language Credentialing Board because um, several of our mentors that join us are also um, serve on the Kiowa Language Credentialing Board. So that's really helpful as well because they also are able to give us updates and uh, just, you know, let us know what we need to do to move forward with either level one or level two uh, certification. So um, let's see. So what I did is I sent out a syllabus for our sessions for the fall um, until December 8th, I think 18th, 5th, yeah, 18th. Um, did everyone uh, get the syllabus and the email that I sent out? Oh. Oh. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. All right. So what I wanted to do is go ahead and pull up the syllabus so we can take a look at it together. And today we wanted to focus on continuing with the sounds, uh, practicing the pronunciation of the sounds of Kiowa and also start uh, practicing our Kiowa help phrases. So. That's the plan. Uh, so let me pull. Let me share my screen. Oh, duh. Okay. Yeah. Oh, might help if I uh actually open it up. <laughs> Let's see here. Okay, there it is. Sorry, it closed down on accident. Okay, waiting for it to load. All right, there we go. Hey, Melody, do we have a printout for the help phrases? Did you send one out? Um, so if you scan the QR code on the or click on the link in the PDF of the document um, that I sent, uh, it'll take you to the Kiowa help phrases um, web page, and then you can download and print the handouts there as well. Oh, okay. I figured it might be easier if people could scan it or, you know, click on it each time. That way they can, if you want to print it off, you can. All right. Can you see my screen? You should see the Learn Kiowa sessions for fall 2024. All right. Let's take a look here. 
Okay, so um, if you print off the syllabus and you need to join by phone at some point, um, there's QR codes so you can scan with your phone if you need to. I'm gonna scroll down. Um, so the goals for our sessions um, on Wednesdays are to offer an opportunity for Kiowa language learners to become more proficient in conversational Kiowa for level one and level two. And essentially what we're doing is we are building a, a Kiowa language community of second language speakers. We also want to have opportunities for uh, facilitating Kiowa language immersion sessions so that we as learners can expand our conversational Kiowa skills in actual real life conversations with each other and with our mentors. There'll also be opportunity for learners to ask for translations of Kiowa language that can be used with their family, children, and in their classrooms. And also we provide opportunities for our Kiowa elders and our fluent Kiowa speakers to share stories, memories, wisdom, history, lessons, songs, prayers, and just their general knowledge of our Kiowa language. And these sessions will be held until December 18th. And then we usually take a break for the, like for Christmas, the holidays, and then we pick up again in January. So um, all the resources can be found on the website, learnkiowa.org. You can scan it uh, using the QR code. And we'll take a look at the website here in a minute in case you haven't had a chance to look. Um, and all of the resources for um, us as adult learners are available on the webpage, um, uh, Adult Learning. Our sessions will generally follow this format. We'll have a welcome, an opening prayer. We'll do an overview of our lesson. Then we're gonna do some conversational practice. So we'll actually get to practice pronouncing and saying things to each other. Our mentors will give us uh, their reflections and any feedback they have for us to improve. We'll also have a question and answer session. We'll take a look at our upcoming lessons and any like homework that we need to work on for the next session. And we'll do our closing prayer and then we wrap up. All right, and if you want a detailed agenda, it's here on the next page. I'm not gonna go through that because you know it's there for you if you want to read it. Every four lessons, so every time we've done four lessons, we're going to do an immersion session where basically it's kind of like, um, think of it as like a midterm exam where basically you take the language that we learn, the tar target phrases, questions, and responses from those first, those yeah. four lessons. And then we okay. put it all together and we we do a whole, we start with 30 minutes and then sometimes we do longer, but um, we all just try to talk to each other in Kiowa during our immersion sessions. And it's a lot of fun. Our mentors get to like, tease us and tell us, you know, how to say some funny things in Kiowa. It's, it's a lot of fun. So we do it on Zoom. And so be on the lookout for that. Uh, let me scroll down. Here's our schedule. So last week, if you weren't here last week, uh, all the videos are posted on the Learn Kiowa YouTube channel and on the website. So if you bookmark the website, the, the videos will be posted every week. Um, I try to get them posted by the weekend so that way people who um, are going to school or work, that way you'll have um, access to the videos from the most recent sessions. I also included uh, links to the various resources for these. So you can scan the QR code. Um, for instance, for session one, that first QR code will take you to the video. And that video there, if you click on it, it's actually one of the required Kiowa language uh, learning professional development modules for teacher candidates who want to become certified in level one. And so those, um, that video, if you watch it, so I would recommend putting it on your list to watch over the next week. And it's, it's um, not very long. It's about like 30 minutes or so. Uh, but watch the video because you'll get to practice uh, kind of what we were doing last week and this week, which is pronouncing the sounds of Kiowa. And it's also one of the required modules. So that will be, they'll kind of give you a little head start on that. Um, and then the handout here is linked. This is a, it's um, shared if you have access to the Google Drive, it's part of the credentialing study material folder. And that's the handout. We started looking at it last week and um, I'll pull it up here in a minute. 
Um, and we're going to continue looking at it this week because we need to finish the sounds. And then here's the resource where you can go for the help phrases. And then for today, what we want to do is we want to finish up the sounds of Kiowa and then we want to go over our help phrases and practice pronouncing the help phrases and also get some feedback from our mentors. All right, and then by next week, we'll be jumping into our first lesson where, where you'll start getting to practice some conversational Kiowa in lesson one. All right, so does, um, let's see, I'm just gonna scroll down. So that's all the lessons. I'm not gonna go through every single one but they all have QR codes and resources. And on the last page, you might be curious. Um, oh, I did wanna mention, because Grandma Dorothy's here um, and I saw Grandma D join as well. Um, on Wednesday, December 18th, for our last session of the fall semester, um, we like to do a um, kind of like a Christmas celebration and so we wanted to save some time to practice and learn some Kiowa Christmas hymns, some Kiowa Christmas songs, um, and also just share memories in general. So um, that, and then we'll share the resources for that as we get closer to December. So just wanna flag that for everyone. You wanna put that on your calendar. Um, also, there will be an opportunity on Sunday afternoons if you want to, you know, kind of hear more Kiowa spoken uh, by request of our mentors, our elder mentors. Uh, we are going to have Sunday sessions and they will be every other Sunday from 3 to 5 p.m. Central. And these will be an opportunity for us to listen to recordings of Kiowa being spoken by fluent Kiowa speakers and also to hear translations and interpretations from our elder mentors. And so we're gonna start those sessions um, this coming Sunday on Sunday, August 11th. So be on the lookout for that. And so just wanted to flag that for everyone. And if you are in these sessions and you got this invite, you will also be invited to those Sunday sessions. So I'll send a little invite and I send a reminder out each week as well. All right, does anyone have any questions about the syllabus? On it. <laughs> All right. Um, also, uh, just a, a note, we do um, always want to have time for any questions and answers and also any um, updates. Um, from time to time, we'll have updates from the Kiowa Language Department. The, some of their staff will come in and share updates um, with us. And then also the Kiowa Language Credentialing Board um, will occasionally be able to share updates as well. So um, also, if you have questions on your lesson planning, um, so the nice thing about using Zoom is we can use uh, Zoom breakout rooms. And so using the Zoom breakout rooms has been really helpful over the past few years because um, let's say that you want to focus on a very specific part of the credentialing. And maybe you want to go into a breakout room with one of our elder mentors to focus very specifically on this thing. Um, so that's something we can definitely do. And so just let, let us know when, when and if you would like to uh, kind of go into a breakout room to discuss a specific um, topic and we can have breakout rooms available. Um, as we go through the topic, sometimes we'll have a breakout room for people to just focus on practicing a certain portion um, and one of the lessons. And then we also have breakout rooms for people to practice for one of the um, components of the credentialing process, because there's various components for credentialing. And um, like, for instance, something that we've all been working on for the, those of us who are already level one and we were working towards level two, um, we've been really focusing on Kiowa grammar. So Kiowa nouns, pronouns, and verbs. And uh, so that's something that, um, you know, we can have breakout rooms as well. All right. So let's take a look at the website really quick, and then we can jump into our pronunciation. Any questions so far? On it. Okay. And if you think of a question, 
um, be sure to put it in the chat. We'll keep an eye on the chat. Here's the Learn Kiowa webpage. One of the most useful resources is if you scroll down to the bottom, it says getting started. Um, there's a link to the Kiowa English Student Glossary and the University of Oklahoma Kiowa Language Course Packet. Um, our, um, one of our credentialing board members, he's also a faculty at the University of Oklahoma, Mr. Dane Pula, he has compiled this Kiowa English Student Glossary. Um, and this one that's posted online was updated in 2023. Um, he recently got me the uh, 2024 version. He likes to update it usually once a year and then we post it. So um, it's there and it's very, very useful. So if we open it, for instance, um, here's what it looks like. Let me move my little windows around so I can show you the cover page. Um, all right. So there's the glossary and it's 900 and something pages long and the 2024 version is super long, is even longer. Um, but let's say we wanted to find the Kiowa word for respect. And so we can use the search function in the PDF of the file to find anything you know, related. So the closest thing that we could find if we're looking, let's say, for a translation of respect is this word here. And I'm going to ask um, Grandma Dorothy, would you pronounce, I think it's Gyanibata, respect? Begyanibata. Begyanibata. It's it's used in like Tanko Old Tago The flag of the United States respect it or Abingo Respect your elders. Oh. In a couple of, it's used in songs. It's used all over. That It was once the most popular word in the Kiowa language. That's what we learned as children. Respect things. Oh. A powerful word. That's a good, good word, good word. And I think we used respect because uh, when we were talking about classroom rules a few weeks ago, that's one of the first ones is, you know, respect each other. You're telling the kids, you know, respect each other. So that's, and so you see, this is a verb. So you can look up the part of speech here. And this is a verb, which when you heard Grandma Dorothy pronounce it, she said the Kiowa pronoun in front of the verb because you really can't say a verb in Kiowa without a pronoun because a verb is an action word and a pronoun is who is doing the action. And so you have to have them together to make sense. So if we just say this word just by itself, it's not going to make sense to a fluent speaker because it's not like, that's not how we think in Kiowa. So that's a really awesome word and a good lesson. <laughs> oh, Grandma. Uh, let me go back. Um, let's see. We have the University of Oklahoma course packet. Um, and it's it's kind of, you know, it's outdated. I don't think they use it anymore in the classes. But if you are someone who likes having worksheets and you want a pen and paper, you want to print something out, you want to write things down, um, this is a really good resource because there are lots of worksheets in here. Let me just scroll through. My favorite part of this course packet, I mean, there's a lot of good parts in it, but my favorite part are pages three to six, I think, um, these pronoun charts. I would highly recommend that if you don't print anything else off, please print the pronoun charts. You're going to need these pronoun charts, especially as you start creating Kiowa sentences. And when we're translating and we're looking at a Kiowa sentence in writing, 
you'll want these pronoun charts so you can figure out which pronoun is being used with that verb. Aho, cricket hall. We we won't we won't make you uh, look at the screen. Don't look at the screen. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Be safe. I got him. Ho ye. <laughs> Uh, wow. Okay, so that's the course packet. It is about 300 pages, but um, it's got some little lessons in here that have worksheets. So let me just scroll down to one of them. So here's the lesson on the help phrases. Um, so it has like the list of help phrases and it's got the grammar, like which are the verbs, which ones are the pronouns and the nouns. And it's got some a little helpful uh, reference sheet as far as when to use the help phrases. And then it's got this little worksheet here. So you could actually print like say page 16 off and write in, it says, write the literal English translation word for word for each Kiowa word. And you would just fill in the English translation in the box. So if you're someone that likes doing that, then this is a handy tool to print off. Um, what I did a few years ago with my uh, daughter when we were learning together is we printed this off and put it in a binder. And every week we would go through and fill out some worksheets. That's kind of a fun way to solidify the concepts. Let me go back. All right, so also on the front page, you'll see the most recent uh, sessions that have been posted. And so you can see the one from last week, July 31st, pops up right there. So let me go. So all the lessons are going to be here under adult learning. Eventually, this web page um, is going to have uh, tabs for each age group. So for me, I'm really interested. I teach high school, but I'm really interested in the babies, like the zero-year-olds. And so I'm really excited to get our, our um, lessons for babies and toddlers up. Um, I have about four lessons, and they're almost ready to go. So we're getting ready to hit publish on those. And so you'll see some tabs kind of being posted as we go throughout our time. But for now, all of the adult learning ones, if you want to practice like the resources for getting credentialed are under the adult learning. Um, there's this tab, uh, Learning Kiowa as an Adult. And there's some little, if you like reading, there's some uh, little uh, tips and strategies and resources. Um, there's reminders to reach out to the Kiowa language uh, Kiowa Language Department uh, by email or by phone. Um, there's a link to the Kiowa Language Department website. So that way, if you have questions about like, what's your status with the credentialing, uh, where are you at in the process, you can, you have those resources there. And then there's also links to the Kiowa Language uh, Teacher Handbook and the Teacher Candidate Proficiency Portfolio and Professional Development Checklist. So those are also there. And I think these are probably the versions. These are older versions from a couple of years ago. So we'll have to post the new versions on there. Um, but they're there for reference. And if you are a new candidate and you want to get started on some of your modules, your professional development modules, if you click on the checklist here, and we wait for it to pop up and so if you scroll down, you can actually print this off, but it's a lot easier if you have it on your computer um, connected to the internet. Um, so this is um, these are the modules. And so you can click on this first link, which will take you to the YouTube um, recording of the first of the training module. And then after you watch the recording, the video, then you would go in and verify that you completed it by submitting a brief survey and you click on that second link. And that will take you to the survey. And then the Kiowa Language Department staff will compile all the information and they'll be able to verify um, at the end of the year that you've completed all your modules. So if you're curious where that Sounds of Kiowa YouTube link is, it's also right here. It's module eight, actually. And so if you watch the video um, that's on the syllabus, it's also here. Click on this little uh, Google form and verify that you took the training and then you'll be able to get credit for that. So the list kind of goes on. So that's the checklist. And I think that's also a 
uh, older version, but the links are still accurate. And always check with the Kiowa Language Department staff if you have any questions about the paperwork process. All right, any questions about that so far? Have, uh, has anyone heard or have you been updated on, um, like, is there a electronic form that shows like who has like how we, if you know, what portions that we need to still be certified in? Oh, that's a good question. Um, we have, let's see, I'm looking to see if Dane joined us. I see Miss Velma and I see Grandma Marty and Grandma D um, and Grandma Dorothy. We have some of our credentialing board members here. I wonder if any of you have um, any thoughts on Cricket's question. I'll stop sharing for a minute. No, we got there. Yeah, we got there to pick up on Sunshine. And she says, just a minute. And she what was the question? I mean, what does she ask? What are you asking, Cricket? Uh, Cricket? Um, I just didn't know if Melody had already talked about um, kind of what the credentialing board had already gone over about who had, I didn't know if she'd already talked with the language department staffer and found out any more um, about uh, what portion. So like we know some people have passed all of level one, who are those people and then what portions and then, and then there's some people that haven't passed all the level ones what portions do they still need to pass what portions have they passed mm -hmm. so like yeah. if we're going in there and we can't remember um mm -hmm. oh yeah i think i passed this or the credentialing board can't remember everything uh, do we have an electronic uh area for us to go and check that in or um is there a way to check that out? Uh, Dane said, uh, well, we're still working on it. We're still working on it, on getting that. Okay. Dane is, Who, uh, who's working on it? Dane is, remember he, we had, when we talked and met, he said that he was gathering all the information and get it organized. And we have, only, okay. we have one that's completed everything, le level Level one and level two. two, yes, and and yeah. there's others yeah. that still lack mostly the pronouns is what, what people are lacking. Yeah, the red, yeah. they've, they've know, gotten a conversation. <laughs> it's just mainly the pronouns. As, so. as, yeah. as far as I'm concerned, they're credentialed. The ones the level they're at. Uh huh. I teach good so, power. We just need to know what areas we need to study. I know, I I know that it's mine as pronouns, but I know that some people you know, might what forgot what area that they need to study for. So I was just wondering if there was a way to check that out yet. Um, but if it's just saying okay. that it's being worked on, right? Right, and cricket. Okay. I think um, like last week I got an email from Dane. And he uh, linked to a Google Drive folder. You too. Thank you. Sorry for the multiple purchases. Oh, I think we, Bobby, I think you're unmuted. Um, <laughs> but uh, I got a link to a Google Drive folder. And then Dane told me to go in and check and see and just verify that those were all the things that I completed. Um, as, okay. And I think it's part of that process. So you might check and see if you got any messages or shared, you know, those shared message links yeah, um, sure, right. okay yeah yeah so and and right. dane said that if we have questions we could email him and set up um, a time to join a zoom call and go over all the pieces um, okay once they have everything compiled so so yes it sounds like they are still working on it but i just wanted to share okay. that that uh, i did get an email last week around that okay perfect okay all right thank you that was i just wanted to update on that uh, and then I, you might be getting ready to go over this since I joined a little late. Uh, I, I've, I didn't even think about it, but did you have class on yesterday? Oh, um, honey, we start tomorrow. <laughs> oh, okay, good. I was like, oh my God, did I miss class? Okay, because <laughs> I'm going to get on that class. So you're going to, you'll send a little email reminder out, right? 
Wait, wait, for what class? Like for my high school class? No, for your um uh teacher your teacher oh. training class. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, yeah. Um I was supposed to do it yesterday, but I was so caught up with trying to get all the stuff we needed to get done for our district because they yeah. added a bunch of paperwork. So okay. anyway, I didn't get around to it. So I'm going to start those next Tuesday so that we can. Okay, so next have, week. Have oh, and I, will, I don't know if I'll be able to do it then because we've got, I've got school supply distribution Monday and I don't know if I'll finish on Tuesday. What, but you have it at what time again? Um, Seven to eight and it'll be okay. every, every week. From, okay, I might be able to get on. Time. Okay. And it's just right, the time for, uh, oh, for uh, teachers to, um, like kind of look at our lesson plans and bounce ideas share ideas with each other um, for activities and things I especially want to bounce ideas off for my because I'm teaching Kiowa language one and Kiowa language two this year and I'm okay. especially interested in hearing everyone's thoughts and feedback on level two like what does Kiowa language two look like for high school uh, so, yeah yeah <laughs> Well, anyway, that's yeah. what I like to hear. Yeah, I'm I'm excited about your teacher training. So, yeah, it, it'll be hopefully it'll be fun and hopefully it'll be useful. But uh, I know Aunt Carolyn also wants to uh, listen into those. So I'm trying to get those get those going. But yeah, I'll send an invite out either tonight or tomorrow if I can get to it. <laughs> so okay. that way it's yeah. on everyone's calendar. And Carolyn has really good ideas like. Um, I mean, yeah. I haven't talked to her in a while, but she has really good ideas. Uh, if, um, I mean, like as far as like, like exercises on how to learn stuff. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Oh. I'm looking Melody? forward to hearing everyone. Uh, okay. Monday. Can you make sure I'm on that email list too on your, for your teachers? Oh, yes. I was going to include everyone who that I know of is teaching a Kiowa language class. Um, and okay. or already credentialed for level one, um, just invite anyone who's interested. So if anyone right. else uh -oh. is interested, let me know. Yes. And Tim Hall, I will include you for sure. You're, you're on yes. my list. <laughs> In turn, I would also like a list of who all's teaching Kyle. Oh, that's a good idea, Grandma. Um, yeah. I want to hear about Tim and I want to hear about Timothy's trip to Alaska. Oh, you got to go to Alaska. That's awesome. <laughs> well, we did, and it sure was a cut one. It was 60 degrees weather the whole 11 days. Wow, lucky. Meanwhile, yeah. it's 107 degrees over here. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. should have brought some of that with you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm outside working, listening to y'all, and it's like hot. I know. Yeah. Stay hydrated. Jeez. <laughs> Be safe. Yes, bottle. Oh, that's cool. Um, yeah, hey, I, hey, I was hey. wondering. Oh, go ahead, Grandma. Monday. If y'all are aware, yeah, Tim's Kiowa, uh, Kiowa entry from Riverside one overall in Kiowa speaking at the language fair this year. And oh. the more compliments should be put out. I'm very proud of her. Oh, so, huh. that was awesome to see. And I like, uh, Tim, your student that uh, read the Mrs. Ant story. That was really cool. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and if anybody's gonna do that, Make sure you know we still got those drops too, those posters. So, oh, and the language department made those, so they're really not mine. The language, you know, they belong to the language. <laughs> it's a little book, it's Miss M. Ha, Mama. Oh, yeah, we actually created that book together a couple of years ago as part of our sessions when we were doing our, our same day stories outreach. Um, yeah. but uh, Grandma, I don't know if you remember at the language fair, but one of Tim's students, um, it, they didn't use just the little book. The language department printed out these huge posters that were really kind of big. It, they look yeah. beautiful oh, yeah. from back in the audience. It was really neat to see. <laughs> I've seen it all. But Alicia done that too with her high school class 20 years ago. Oh. And, and we've just followed, 
suit. And it always wins. It's so cute. Good job, Tim. <laughs> yeah, no pressure for this year, Tim. <laughs> oh, yeah, I know it. <laughs> <laughs> yep. It's going to be fun this year. I think there's going to be so many Kiowa language entries that we're going to have to have our own Kiowa language fair. I know. <laughs> oh. We're taking over. <laughs> and that's called when you're vying against each other. It's a doyon. <laughs> Bay doyon, though. Oh. Doyon. Doyon. It's when you're competing against each other to doyon. see who's the best. Doyon. 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 Did yeah. you say Be Doyon Da? Yeah. Be Doyon Da. Oh, I like that. <laughs> That's what I'm going to call my activity in the springtime. <laughs> tell, I'll, I'll tell all my students. Out. <laughs> I pulled that word out this year. Doyon. I Doyon Hop. They like to, doyon they like to, to vie with you instead of working with you. <laughs> you know. And be doing the if and it makes the the it makes the will to do it even better though maybe that we have that competitive spirit. Oh, I like to think Kiowas are a little bit competitive. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just a <And> tad. <laughs> <laughs> It's a tiny bit. <laughs> That's awesome. When you try to say Kali, 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 Kali. Oh, man. I still Kali, 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 Kali. The bullfrog bit me on the neck. <laughs> <laughs> Who's going to type that one in the chat? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I was trying to do, but I'm not as fast as some of our other typers here. I was going to write it phonetically, but I was like, maybe I'll be fancy, but my keyboard, I have to switch it back to make the diacritic marks. They die. Do um. you think that's in the glossary? Oh. I'm going to look in the glossary. Three sounds in the Kiwi language, three ways to say things. I don't like to, I promised myself I'd keep quiet and learn, but it's hard for me. Oh, well, we, appreciate, <laughs> we appreciate anything you can offer, Grandma. All of our mentors, we just appreciate all of y'all taking the time to spend with us. Um, we all were, were taught different and we're all right. We uh, all speak it different. There's no way you can judge to say it's one certain way. We were all taught by our grandmothers. Oh, yeah. I found it. Grandma, I found it in the glossary. I'm going to put it in the chat. It's going to look probably real crazy. But let me find it. And it's... thank you for the cedaring, my girl, with that, that little fire. Catherine. Oh, Grandma, I missed you last week at the Ohomo uh, dance. I missed you. I, I had to leave Sunday morning mm -hmm. and when you went there in it. <laughs> I teach it the best I know how. The very best from the best people. And to still get uh, overturned. I just wonder, where do we find an expert? Well, I guess whoever's a fluent speaker is the expert. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The, all our mentors in here are experts. That's what I oh. thought. That's right. You're our experts. And we were appointed by our business committee. Oh. I just feel like I've lost some credibility or something in my speech. Well, you're still here with us, so <laughs> we appreciate that. 
<laughs> yeah. Um let's see here. Uh okay, so are there any um other questions for any of our mentors before we go back to our handout on the sounds of Kiowa? We'll open the floor and anyone can ask questions. No, but we were going to go back over the oi, ooey and oi, ooey and oi. And and then when it came into doi, like doi, like do, you know, like, because I, I was told to say oi, ooey, but then, then it sounds weird to speakers when you say it like that. And then doi sounds weird when you say it like that. You need to kind of say it in between or something. So I think some words there's an in between oi sound, maybe. Oh, huh. and and That's I think so it's strong. also it's also us hearing it, like being able to hear it. Uh -huh. It's a boy and oi, like doey, oi, and oi. So it's um, let's uh let's go back to that. So let me pull that up. Okay. And I'm going to share my screen again. I know that you're not looking. Yeah. Um, okay, so Cricket, don't look at the screen. Okay, but... thank you. <laughs> I am like inclined to. <laughs> um, okay, so we do have... Um... Oh, wait. Uh, well, hey, Thal, let me... Before we and do we this... didn't practice the silent N yet either on this. That's right. We still have to do the nasal eyes. That's right. Okay. Um, but before we go to the handout, Heitha, um, I know that we have um, a couple of our new teacher candidates joining us. Oh, and cool. I, just, I just wanted to, before we get too deep into it, I <laughs> wanted to give our candidates a chance to say hello, especially so that our elder mentors can hear you and hear who you are and who your family is. And uh, that way they can, uh, you know, know who's speaking when we go through. So um if any, if, if people don't mind just doing a quick round of introductions, um, real quick, is that okay? Uh, okay, so let's um, start, let's start with our mentors first. Um, so we have Grandma Dorothy, Grandma D, Grandma Martha Nell, Miss Velma and Miss Marion on as our mentors. And so I'll go ahead and give them each a chance to say hello. And that way you can hear their voices and get to know them. So we'll start. Um, the first one on my screen that I see is Grandma Dorothy. So Grandma Dorothy, uh, you want to start it off? Okay. My English name is Dorothy Whitehorse. It's my surname. My Kiowa name is Otaige Antagema. She comes with good prayers. I didn't learn how to speak English till I was six or seven years old because my, my parents never spoke English. And that's why I can I can talk it. I didn't have any it just it was my first language. So good luck to all of you. Write it out with us. You'll be talking Kiowa by the end of this. Aho, uh -huh, Grandma. Um, let's go over to Grandma D. I'm uh, Dolores Herrigera, Torbo Herrigera. And I've been working with this Norman group, Norman, way before there was a grant many years ago. It was enjoyable to see all to help and I don't read it and I don't write it. I just know yeah. when how to correct you. That's about it. But uh -huh. I appreciate all all of you always say it because it's very difficult to learn it the way that you're you're learning it. I just learn I just heard it and learned it that way as a child, just like Dorothy. So I don't read it or write it. But good luck to you. Uh -oh. 
，背背背。啊哈，啊哈 ，Grandma。All right, let's let's go over to Grandma Martinell. Hey, hi. I'm uh, Martinell Pulaw. Uh, my Kiowa name is um, Togu Kama, and I'm a retired teacher now. I retired not long ago, so I'm just a lady of leisure now. <laughs> and so I'm here, and I'm able to help some of you that um, may have a question, or maybe you're looking for a word, or you're trying to put your sentence together, and you can't do that. I don't mind helping you. Um, I think my information's out there. Um, Melody has it. Um but I'm like Dorothy, Dolores, Mary, and all of us. We just grew up in the homes where that language was spoken. And sometimes, I guess, because we were learning it, we didn't give too much thought to it and maybe kind of a little took it for granted. But it really hurt when I went away for years and couldn't hear it. And I had to get back into it. So that was a little difficult for me. And then eventually, I got into the Parker McKenzie um, method and had to learn how to read and write it. So that came later, because you know, I already knew the language before, just speaking it. But um, I'm here to help anybody that needs help. Obaho. Oh, aho. Appreciate that. Let's go over to Miss Velma. I'll see you next. Good evening. Uh, my name is Velma Dumbo Eisenberger. Uh, my Kiowa name is Aoi Gotong Tai. And uh, I grew up in Stecker. And uh, I, I uh, worked on the Navajo Reservation and Havasu Pies for like 45 years. I retired and came home and went to those, uh, uh, those sessions that uh, Dolores was talking about in Norman. And that's how I got into the program. And um, I live, I, I have Oklahoma City address, but I live in Moore. <laughs> so uh, welcome, a new candidates. Just hang in there. Aho, Obaha. Oh, Aho. Um, and then I just want to uh, also, let's see, uh, the next elder mentor is Miss Marion. Miss Marion, would you like to say hello, introduce yourself? Not really, but I will. And what type of, uh, what type of uh, questions do you have that I should answer? <laughs> okay. My name is Marion Kalei Holton. It's pronounced go lady. And uh, Hanson, which is a name, surname, I mean, not surname, merit name. My kind of name is Donald Star, which means spotted weeks. And I grew up in Oklahoma. And I was at Fort and attended the University of uh, Science and Arts at Chickasha. From there, went to the University of Oklahoma. After I finished my degree, stayed here. I worked for the um, worked for a tribe, and, and after that, worked for the government in Washington. DC, but I've also, I have always had an interest in our um, Kiowa culture, but <clears throat> it's like uh, most people, I would say, of um, our age group, and uh, Martha and I grew up with uh, people who spoke the language, the Kiowa language, quite fluently, because that was their first language. And so that's how I first uh, learned. And of course, this was spoken each day. But um, I've always had 
the interest in our history, the culture, and I uh, kept up with my studies about this uh, history of Park Trot. And I was fortunate enough to spend uh, some time at the Smithsonian. <clears throat> and this uh, experience was also something that I'm grateful for. Because, as I said, this has always been a <clears throat> life, lifetime interest. But I could just go on and on. But at this point, I'm just assisting with this, with this class because, well, I'm not a teacher, a mentor. I'm just here listening, assisting, and uh, hopefully I could be of assistance to uh, students. And that's about it. And if you have questions, you can always ask me. And that's it. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, aho. Thank you, Miss Marion. Yeah, Miss Marion, she calls in every week from the D.C. area, Washington, D.C. area. She's on East Coast time. So, we try not to go too long, <laughs> too much after 8.30 because it gets pretty late uh, over there. Uh, but we really appreciate you joining and taking the time to be here each week, Miss Marion. Along with all of our mentors, I will also just mention that uh, Grandma Dorothy, Grandma D, Grandma Martha Nell, and Miss Velma are also members of our Kiowa Language Credentialing Board. So the nice thing about having them is as our mentors here in these sessions and being able to work directly with you also as candidates is they're also going to be the ones that will be evaluating you and testing you uh, once you actually go through the credentialing process at the end of the year. So that's something, you know, you'll get to know them through these sessions and hopefully that will help um, calm your nerves because I know it can be really nerve wracking going and getting tested but it helps when we know the people that are testing us so <laughs> I just wanted to mention that also um all right uh let's see so I think we that's we did all our mentors um let's do a quick round of our new teacher candidates so if you are a new teacher candidate joining for the 2024-2025 school year, if you don't mind just coming off mute, we really want to give our elder mentors a chance to hear your voice and to just, they're also probably very interested in who your family is, <laughs> so they can get to know you a little bit. So um, we'll start, oh, I see Gabby came off mute. So Gabby, we'll start with you. Uh, Co. Hello, my name's Gabby Gomez. Um, I'm here um, because um, I've recently uh, finished my post working for Indian Health Service. So um, right now I am wanting to fill my days with something productive. Um, I'm also taking care of my mother. My mother is Margaret Sadongi Gomez. My father is Joe Gomez and he just recently passed. Um, so my, she's talking to me right now. I'm so sorry. Um, the Gomez's from Anadarko are part of my family. Um, and, uh, obviously the Sadongi family from Anadarko and my, uh, mother's, mother's family are Guladles. Um, so it's nice to meet you all. And I love hearing your voices. And uh, I have my, my mother right here, and she's she's uh, enjoying it just as much. <laughs> oh, they own day. Awesome. Welcome, Gabby. Nice to have you join us. Let's see. I'm looking at my list. The next one I see is Angie. Angie? Ah, oh, cool. Thank <laughs> you. 
Hello, my name is Angeline Kumso Wetzline. I'm named after Angeline Ann Kumso Wetzline. She was my big sister. I come from Henrietta Saperhoodle and Bill Kumso Sr. My grandparents are William Tartza, Mary Ramirez, and Lois Tartza. My parents are Brady Bonderas and Pedro Bonderas. Um, I from Andarco, I graduated there and I'm currently attending college at Potter, Oklahoma at Carbert State College to study biology and pre-professional science. Awesome. Welcome. Aho, Angie. Great to have you on. Thank you. Let's see. The next one I see on my screen. Uh, let's see. Uh, who is a hot little uh, CT? Don't you? CT. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes, Paul. Uh, my name is Caleb Satok. My father is Nelson Satok. And my mother is Shannon Satok. Um, my Kiowa name is Bai King Da. And uh, I grew up from around Spur area, outside of Lawton. And uh, I'm still young, so there's not much to say. Uh, this will be my first year of college, and that's about it. Oh, they own day. Awesome, welcome. Do you, do you prefer going by Caleb, or do you have a nickname? Uh, Caleb's fine. Oh, aho, welcome. Uh, let's see. Uh, the next I see looking for our new candidates, and then we'll go into our learners. Uh, Merlina. Uh, Co. Me. Oh. <laughs> you want me to introduce myself and. Oh, go thong yeah. Okay. Merlina post on con goi batole mantan a goi con. Um I go to Weatherford Middle School. Yeah. My name is Merlina Post. My Kiowa name is Butterfly Girl. I go to Weatherford Middle School. I live in Clinton. I used to live in Anadarko, but we moved here, which is pretty cool. Um, um, Oba. Oh, ho. Uh -huh. Thank you. <laughs> in case you're wondering, that is uh my youngest, and she's an eighth grader. And she's working towards getting credentialed because uh, she promised Grandma Dorothy that that's what she would do. So she's on a, she's got a mission. <laughs> all right, let's see here. Uh, I think we, did we get all of our new teacher candidates? Do we have any, any other new teacher candidate that is not currently credentialed? All right. So let's uh, quickly go through our currently credentialed uh, Kiowa language teachers and or candidates that are working towards level two. <laughs> so uh, let's see, I'll start uh, at the top of the screen, uh, Kathy uh, Co. Uh, okay. Kathy Dickerson, Akon, Tapoma, Akoi. That's my Kiowa name. Uh, St. Louis Gat Aguil. All over down there in Carnegie and all that. Yeah, uh, Akia. I mean, I'm all over the place, so down there. Uh, Bacon College. Yeah, uh, Gupa. Is that how? Oh. Is that how oh. you were going to say? Uh, Gupa. Oh. Okay. Uh, 
เออฮังดูก็เซตซอยเดย์อ่ะก็นั่นทักยังไงก็เซตกูไม่ได้โอเคอ่ะฮู้ฮู้ Thank you Kathy um let's see uh Grandma D is Aunt Carolyn with you Yes, Paul. All right, Aunt Carolyn, on co. Uh, Carolyn Herger Kale Alcon. I live here in Norman, and my mother is staying with me, Dolores Toibo Herger. My grandparents, my Kiowa grandparents, are Virginia and Louis Toibo. My father's Oto, and right now we're just. Listening in, I'm not really studying right now because I'm taking care of my mother. But good luck to everybody, and glad that you have new students coming on. Is Chelsea going to be introduced later on? By the way, Paul. Okay, Obaha. Aho. Uh -ho. All, All right. right. I'm not having. I'm sorry. I'm having a rough evening. I just found out one of my uh, relatives in law just died. So. I'm here, but you know, I'm just kind of not really participating. Oh, thank you, Chelsea. Doc, Doc, I also wanted to say that I, I never, I hope that it's not coming across as if I don't think that the, you know, elders are the ones who are the experts. I absolutely think they are, and I think that we should. Really, be doing more and involve them more, and I would like to have more of a, you know, consistent communication between the board and and the elders and the department. And I think it would clear up a lot of confusion or just like miscommunication. So that's something you know that's going to happen. And things have just been really, really busy. Like right now, I'm still trying to get you know George in the paycom system over on the administrative side, but you know. Um, you know, take it or leave it, believe it or not. But, you know, it's like I'm trying to do the right thing and navigate all of this. And it isn't easy, you know. So um, I'm not ever trying to marginalize any teachers or act like it's all just like exclusively about one thing or choose an ideological stance. Like, I just want to do my job well and I want this to last. And if we can't get along and we can't like you know, hash things out and it's just going to be the same cyclic thing and we'll get stagnant, you know, but like, I'm, I'm human, you know, and I'm, I'm, I'm new to this role and, you know, it's just, I'm figuring it out, but yeah, I just want to say like, it's just, it's a lot to balance and like, we're trying to do those things, you know, we're working on our website, we're doing demolition up front um we're looking for new grants we have new software for our strategic planning so we can set goal posts throughout the year that way you know we're not scrambling at the end i had an orientation a couple weeks ago we talked about as a department the whole as a whole having like a game night where we do all of those different games and our teachers candidates credentialed teachers can get together and then I was wanting i spoke with dane about this a few weeks ago to do things in the fall it's just that you know something is every day right now because of the season um back to school there's just something every day you know so it's like it's it's hard to even get through my to-do list but I just want to say it's not because I'm being if I haven't been communicative or if I haven't been like receptive it's not a personal thing and it's not me just trying to box anybody out I'm just I'm just I'm new <laughs> and I'm struggling to balance it all that's it you know, and, and I hope in a year from now, if I last, you know, if I make it that long, um, that this will just be like clockwork, you know, and things will flow smoothly. Um, but anyway, that's all I have to say. Um, I'm going to I'm going to check with my family real quick. Like I said, there was a there was a death. So anyway, I'm going to get off here. Uh -huh. Hi, Chelsea. Thank you, Chelsea. We appreciate you taking the time and appreciate all that you do. Really exciting. We're rooting for you. 
Awesome. And uh, Chelsea, in, I know most, well, everyone should know who Chelsea is because I think our teacher candidates, the new ones, you guys had a, you met her as part of your orientation a couple weeks ago. So, aho, Chelsea. Um, let's go over to Tha B. Look like we're the only ones you can see. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh, Paul, oh, I'll come. Courtney Soka, your holer, a con. Sabi, a goy con. Morgia, a kill. Morgia, a kia. Codice, ga, so tie, ga, thick. Codice, ga, thick goat. Sorry, codice, ga, so tie, thick goat, nada. Courtney, your holer, e a da. Ju ga Nora Choi Nada Edmund Indian Education get Gasat de Da O U Ya Ga O C U Ya A Gupa Obaha. I'm a Courtney Sotai your holder and I, my Kiowa name is Big guys, I'm from Moore. I grew up here. My families are Kodasi and Sotai. Um, my grandparents were uh, the late Sherwood and Roxy Sotai. And my dad is John Sotai and Rita Sotai is my mother. And I'm married to Courtney or Holer. And we have two children, Jude and Nora. And I am starting my ninth year at uh, Edmond Indian Education. And time flies when you're having fun, I guess. But um, I went to school at OU and um, for my master's in Oklahoma City University for my bachelor's. And I've uh, been a part of the language program since 2020 and have really enjoyed it and cherish the time that I've been able to be a part of uh, this program. I've always had a desire to want to learn our language and um, the, the teachings that I have from our families um, and just seeing that embodied in our elders uh and and what time we get to spend with them i really love it and enjoy getting to work with everybody in the language program and uh look forward to completing uh, my credentialing it's um i've done level one and working part i've done parts of level two so working to complete level two and I just want to say a ho for each and every person that's on here that uh, commits and contributes to our learning. And it takes all of us. And I love you all and just really, really appreciate everyone and the, the, the efforts that you're involved in. And can't say enough about um, how much it's helped me in even uh, not just myself, but even continuing to be able to teach our children. So, aho, obaha. Oh, aho. 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 Awesome. Um, let's see next on my list. Oh, I see uh, another of our new teacher candidates joined us. Um, Carlo, would you like to say hello? Oh, cool. <laughs> Can you hear me? Oh, now we can. Oh. Oh. Oh, day on day. And good evening, everybody. Then ain't that all call. Then ain't that all call. Hang on. And they tape they doll. Go. Eagle Heart. Go. Eight song. Go. Uh. Uh. Long corn. Uh. Goo. Goo. Can they not? No doll, uh, tenor doll, family, and I could add on and on, 
Well, I'm just going to leave it right there. You know, um, I just want to say hello this evening to each and everybody, you know, especially for our uh, elders that 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 have um, invested their time into the into the program and seeing the the success of where it's at and what 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 how how the advancement of the the program is uh moving. So uh, with that, you know, uh, as a teacher candidate and the rest of the teacher candidates, you know, I wish wish y'all and pray Dalkey continue to guide and direct y'all each and every day, you know, throughout uh, the school year and all in all, you know, I just I just want to just 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 mention that and say hello in and, and, and that fashion and uh, hope everybody has a good a good um good school year and um like I said you know to our elders you know for their time to invest uh, into us and pour into us you know our our our, our Kaiba language and as well as our history Obaha. Oh Aho. welcome and uh let's see uh who's next on screen um oh i see george uh cool. oh you're muted sorry i tried to pronounce your kiowa name but i have to hear it again <laughs> Now, can you hear me? Oh. Okay. Um, well, uh, well, well, first, I mean, Chelsea said something a while ago. Um, um, no, it don't you know, we're praying for you, Chelsea. And, uh, um, georgewater.com, um, onga, dotsan. Um, a goi kong, as I Kaiwa name means I, I came home on my, by myself on my own, and uh, in the dark, oh, yeah, Gilo. in the dark, oh, uh, Minnesota, yeah, uh, Kia. I grew up in in the dark, oh, and Minnesota. Um, right now, I am uh, currently in uh, my, my, my new classroom. Uh, with my my young boy, my four year old, and so if you hear some wild screaming out, out of nowhere, that's just him just playing in the fun classroom. But um, um, been a part of the language program since its beginning, um, melody and you know all that all those years ago, and I'm just uh, trying to do whatever I can to help um our Kiowa language and our Kiowa youth and uh however I can be of assistance and I'm still learning I am I have a long ways to go um but I'm I just hope that I can be uh, of use in any which way and, uh, um day on day Bob boom to everyone Obaha oh aho and uh George, would you, uh, since you're going to be teaching also, would you like to be on that invite for Kiowa language teachers uh, to kind of do like lesson planning, brainstorming together? Yes. Yeah, I, I'm going to take me and Aki. Well, okay, oh, I'll, I'll include, I think I have, I should have both. Well, you got this invite, right? So hopefully yes. your email's on the list. All right. Aho. Uh, uh, let's. Oh, to... and. I think she would probably be on here, but I, I think she's uh, she's uh, in her classroom too, and I'm not. I think she's pretty busy at the. Oh, uh, does a uh, did school start today for? No. Oh, okay. Tomorrow. Oh, all right. Yeah, same here. <laughs> so, busy, busy night tonight. <laughs> yeah. And do oh, some math. <laughs> it's gonna be hot too. <laughs> yeah. All right. Aho. Awesome. Um, let's see. I'm going to go next. Uh, Travis. Ah, cool. Can you hear me? Paul. Oh. Oh, oh, okay. Hello. Uh, good evening, everyone. Um, uh, first of all, 
it's good to see everyone. I haven't been on these, these classes in, in a bit, but I've uh, just been kind of getting situated and settled in. Uh, I just moved back to Anadarko from being out west. You know, I've been out, out in the uh, Arizona. I've been out there with my Abajo Mali. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, I've been out there for school. And um, I'm almost going to be finished up with that probably this coming semester here in the fall. And, uh, but, uh, so anyway, I'm, I'm Travis Mama Day. And, um, like I said, I just, I'm, um, uh, I'm out here in Anadarko now and I've been in, um, with the language community, uh, this particular community since, you know, it started, uh, KLCRP days. And, uh, you know, my elder mentor at that time was, you know, Koma, you know, the, uh, Grandma Helen Ekowari. Um, uh, she was mine and Antonia's you know, elder mentor for a couple of years, you know, it was always, she was so funny, you know, she always, uh, she, her lessons and the way she taught, you know, it's like, you know, it was just uh, a joy to like hear her talk and, you know, hear her stories and everything that she uh, told us and things like that. And so um, before that, you know, I was um, involved in the Tulsa community uh, language classes and it's the nineties whenever uh, Evans Ray Sepahoodle and Perry Onko, they had classes over at Rogers High School and they moved it over to Tulsa University. And um, I was in those classes. I was a little guy, I was probably about maybe 12 or 11 years old. And then, um, you know, then uh, I started attending a little later too when Leon Hazet, uh, he took over the class from those other gentlemen. And so I started getting involved with them uh, again. And then I became the uh, the teacher for the Tulsa area for uh, a couple of years. And then I went back to school and um, and then Antonia took it over and uh, uh, Bobby, um, uh, Bobby uh, Gupto Huntali, you know, he, uh, he became uh, real uh, involved in the class, Ramon. And uh, he was able to pick it up after that, you know. And um, so after that, you know, I moved out west and just was doing a lot of school. And I'll be at OU this coming semester. I'll be in anthropology program out there. And uh, so just Travis Mama Day Akon, Mama Day Akoi Kong, Enga Day Gob Nado, Mama Day Tiko Topoi, Oklahoma, Anadarko Gak, Kiko, Tulsa Gak, Ia. Um, University of Oklahoma, uh, and so Obaha, Yanton Zama. Oh, I'll also be teaching at Redland Community College, uh, Kiowa Language, uh, one this coming semester as well. So, Obaha, awesome, that's exciting. Uh, so Travis, since you'll be teaching, uh, do you want to? Are you interested in getting on that list also for uh, the lesson planning ideas? Yeah, yes, I would. And then also just, uh, I just had so many things to, uh, you know, say, like, I was also going to mention that I was going to be with Grandma Dorothy, hopefully soon that we're going to be doing a, um, um, on Kiowa surnames, you know, and uh, we got and cooking and we're hopefully to turn out something soon and i'm really excited about that to get like names and translations and and all those good things and also good luck to george and i know that candidates are going to do really well and our teachers the door you know i know he's been involved with our with our sessions and things for a really long time and um carlo um i haven't really met him very much but you know like, i'm just hoping for the best for everyone because that's what we want you know, so this is why we're here and this is what we want to do. This is what we want to carry on this for our Goetanga and to carry it on to the future. Don't fake you, you know, so Obaha. Oh, aho. Appreciate you being here. A lot going on, but uh, definitely good to have that time. And uh, just remember to jot down any questions you have because you have uh, our elders' uh, undivided attention on Wednesday evenings. <laughs> Uh, aho, Travis. Uh, let's go to who haven't we got? Uh, Gutohi Tali. Ah, cool. What about? 
Ah, cool. Guton hin, Elia, dog. Carnegie, yeah, a kill. No. Ene soy a dog game mode. Conto hat de ma. Ene do a safe for hole. More so all. Tape coat ne do. And a dark dog, yeah, get sought the dog. Well, let's see. Yeah, University of Oklahoma, yeah, good, but uh, here in a few weeks. So, uh, my name is Ramon Granado. Come from the Hainta, uh, Sepoodle, Tanadar, and Dogma families. Um, and live here in Carnegie, the Fry Bread Flats, as they call it. I, um, and uh, I've been with the program for, uh, like Travis said, back uh, in Tulsa, uh, later half of 2018, after my grandma had passed away. And uh, I just want to say it's wonderful that everyone's here. Um, you know, but they, they keep at it. It's, uh, it's good to see that the program's growing a little. And I just really hope that everyone stays with it. And you know, stays encouraged to continue on. Um, and you know, the, like I said earlier, I'll be uh, attending uh, OU here in a couple of weeks. So, oh, ha ho, ha ho, ha ho, ha ho, So awesome! I'm so excited for all of our college students. That's awesome, educated Kiowas. <laughs> Uh, aho, Ramon. Uh, let's go see. Uh, hey, Tema. Ah, uh, cool. Ah, uh, okay. I didn't know if my phone would do it. All right. Cricket, Rhodes, Connie, Wordy, Ah, Kong. Hey, Tema, Goy, Kong. Rhodes, Ga, Kiabon, Ga, Henry, Thape, Cope, Nada. Um, Kevin, Connie, Wordy, Oboyang, E, Nada. Um, Angelin, Old Summer, Sukavi, Saint Shine, Ga Thamaroi, Gabon, Om De Ha, Hyoi, Neda, um, Norman, Ya, Akil, Tulsa, Ya, Akia, um, Lawton, Ya, Ta, Son. Did I say that right? I always forget that one. And um, let's see. Uh, Goy ma, ga sape ma, ga bohemian, all All right. <laughs> um, so uh, I'm Cricket. My Indian name is Storyteller Woman. And um, uh, Western Heights, and I work at Western Heights. I'm the Indian education director there. And um, my kids, uh, my son got got his Kiowa name. Uh, Grandma Dorothy named him on the fourth at Gord Clan. And Gabon um, Omdeha, which is his name, also means the same thing, Thamaroy, and in Comanche. And uh, it's uh, that time of day in the morning right before the sun comes up when it's the darkest in, in the dawn, right before dawn right before the light comes up. So it's getting ready to be light. So that's what his name means. Saint Sean is my other son. Um, my uh, He's my middle one and um, little bear. And then old Sama is my oldest, my daughter. And um, she is uh, going to OU, getting her master's now. And my middle one is going to high school and my other one's still in high school at Norman High and what else I'm Kiowa and Caddo and Bohemian so what else my family's Rhodes Henry and Keybone and let's see okay there <laughs> Omaha and Faith Faith Day one of the things I would say um for everybody new getting on is they faith they do not give up keep going keep learning um you're going to get frustrated um 
uh, like you can't hear that sound that you're not saying correctly. And I swear to goodness, you will say, you will really think you're saying it and you're not saying it. And the elders can hear it. Maybe some of us can hear that you're not saying, but you can't hear it. Or they're going to keep telling you, somebody's going to keep telling you you're not saying it correctly, but that's okay. Believe me, it happened to me and it still happens to me. And so, um, and uh, I, it's, I think my main thing is getting rid of my Valley Girl talk and getting it out of Kiowa. So, um, and so just don't get frustrated. Be thankful that somebody is uh, stopping you and helping you actually speak Kiowa instead of nonsense words. So um, don't give up. And, uh, and, um, and I'm just really thankful that you guys are, are here and wanting to learn. And I'm thankful for all our elders. I am so incredibly thankful for all the work and care that they give in time that they give. And I uh, thankful for all the, everybody that does it without getting paid and every, and all the language program staff that is there and, um, you know, has a lot to do. And they hold a lot of, in, of, of stuff in their hands. So, aho, oba. Oh, aho. Aho. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Thank y'all, Grandma. <laughs> I said, aho. Oh, <laughs> it's the biggest oh. misproduction I ever taught. <laughs> <laughs> oh. How can you get a hoy out of a ho? <laughs> Apparently, like, somehow. Like, like just now, a quick one. Um, am I right? Tane do. Tane. It's the uh, eagle is flying in. Tane. Um, I had it in my mouth. I can't get it. Somebody pronounce it for me. It's Tane. Any, 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 the eagle is landing. Any, 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 yeah, he said. Any, the big eagle is landing, and that's Tene Do. We say Tene Do, and do, some people uh. say Tene Do, but it's the eagle has landed, or the eagle is landing. Oh, Grandma, but, Grandma any, Dorothy, uh, I think Miss Marion is uh saying it hold on miss marion okay say it again. i just said any door uh yes any, any yeah. door, uh. that's door, exactly uh. you see oh, um, that's my great grandpa jerry oak's name any door uh. and that's the joy of any working door. with names translating them into english i love that oh that's a good name. That's so pretty. I love that name. That big saying, the eagle is landing or the eagle, you know, has landed. Uh-huh. Beautiful. Oh. Approaching, approaching. Thank you, sister. <laughs> uh ho. Awesome. Um, okay. Well, uh, now that we've all said hello, I just want to say uh really quickly, Gom Gedagima Akoi Um mm. I am um, really excited to see everyone. And so hopefully everyone can continue joining. I just want to say for anyone who's new, um, Wednesday sessions. So let's see, when do we started? We went virtual in 2020. So it's been four years. And before that, we met on Wednesday nights with the Anadarko group with Grandma Dorothy um, uh, starting in 2016. And so it's been, we've been doing these Wednesdays for a while. And I will tell you that um, I look forward to Wednesdays because I can have the most horrible day, the worst day ever. And I get on these sessions and just hearing our language and especially hearing all of our elders and our mentors speaking, it's refreshing and it's rejuvenating and it motivates me and it gives me strength for the next week. So I will say, you know, I know life happens and sometimes we can't make it. But for me, I look forward to these because it's my time to just kind of get motivated again and again and again. And so I always Aww. appreciate our mentors <laughs> for taking their time to be with us and share with us. So I just want to 
mention that real quick. So, um, but like like uh, some of our other um, others have said, they faith, they uh, never give up, keep trying. So we'll we'll get there. And it's so awesome because our group has grown over the years, and all of us like this, we are a community of speakers now. Like we have our fluent speakers and we have our second language learners, all of us. So it's it's so exciting and it's so empowering and inspiring to just have everyone on here with us. So aho de bat ha. Oh, I agree, Melody. 100%. Who said that? Top on my Kathy. Silverhorn. Tonka May Stumbling Bear family. I agree with Melody. You know, it, it, it rejuvenates me. I'm away from the home. And I'm glad to be here. Go to aim da. I love my language. From each of you, it'll stay alive. If you learn it and you teach it, we'll still be here in a hundred years. When our, when our language stops, that's when there'll be no more cows. Respect it and pray for it. Our ancestors are watching us. Being the adult, they called us Sotekia. Just a few years ago, they called us the young ones. And they're the ones that taught us. And I had that lifetime respect for our elders that we had the privilege of knowing. And they're all gone now. And it's a pretty lost feeling to sit here and know that you're the last one of your whole family. All of the siblings are gone. They're all gone. And this is the least we can do, regardless of attitudes. And there's my Gobe Ma. I named her. It's a joy. When you see a little girl, little boy, name them. We're grandmas now. Oh. And this one, I named her Gobe Ma because she's so cute and she's half breed like mine. Mine are a mixture of all tribes and even a mixture of others. Uh, all I don't have is, uh, do not have is uh, uh, Oriental. And I love them all equally. And we're all the same. And there's Hape, Hite, and Henme. Beauty comes in three words. Hape is cute, Hite is pretty, and Hanmi is beautiful. Let's try to be all of that. I try all the time, but I fail every day. And I have to repray every morning. You're not That's alone, it. girl. <laughs> You're not alone. <laughs> yeah, pray for me, my shortcomings. I try my best. And what I teach, I believe, and I have respect for all of you. I don't look down on you like you're a youngster. You're my equals now because y'all are taking the time to learn that, the language. And I appreciate it because I knew all of your folks, all of you, I knew your folks. And if I like to sing, you're going to hear the words now. From chasing a storm away to the cedar has a song. Everything has a song in a Kiowa language. And that's going to be my last thing I'm going to do. I'm going to identify those. Because everything has a song and they're all pure Kiowa. It's something to boast about. Be proud of that we have that. You even have a rain chasing song. Nobody has the guts to stand out and sing to it to make it turn around. But we have 
everything has a song. And I'm going to try my best, I promise you, this winter. If I just oh. put them in two words with the tune, you'll get what all I know. I just know, I want y'all to know that I feel for all of you. I love you all. It's been on my heart all week. From that little baby right there up to me and Dolores. We all have a life. And I love all of my fellow mentors. I might talk too much sometimes, but I really mean it. Y'all are all good. I hope. Oh, I hope, Grandma. Appreciate that. Well, I appreciate everyone taking the time to say hello. I think that it's really important that we all get to know each other. So thank you for the time. Um, I'm going to go ahead and share my screen again and see if we can pull up our, um, our little handout that we started. So we started this last week um, and we practiced these sounds here. Uh, the vowels of Kiowa. And so we, so basically uh, for anyone who's going for level one, this <laughs> handout is part of the level one credentialing uh, exam or evaluation. So you'll need to pronounce, to read and record these words uh, to get credentialed for level one. So um, we practice the sounds and the words. Last week, I'm going to go over to where we, so we were going to start with the nasal. So all of our vowels have nasalized versions. And so that was what we wanted to start with and to get through the nasal. And then we needed to practice uh, three of kind of the most important vowels in Kiowa are different from English vowels. And there, there's those are these last three here. Um, ui, oi, and oi. So, and I probably didn't say those correctly either, but um, I think we wanted to start with those three and then go into our nasal vowels. Yeah. All right, so let's see. So what we do, is we have our elder mentors say the word for us and then we each take a turn repeating it and then after we go through a round then our mentors tell us give us feedback and tell us if we need to make corrections and sometimes they'll stop us on the spot and have us repeat it until they hear us say it correctly so uh is that what we wanted to do um Hentema, was that we wanted to start with these three? I think that we had a correct request for that last time to start with those bottom three. Oh, okay. So uh, we have been starting. Let me look and see if she's still on here. Um, uh, Ako, could you go ahead and we'll start with just these to first okay um the sound in here is ooey ooey like gooey for wolf gooey and then ooey is over there ooey oh aho um we're gonna go to our next uh, mentor uh grandma dorothy okay Could you skip me for right now, honey? Oh, okay, no problem. Um, let me see, uh, Grandma D. I'm sorry, I'm having trouble with my vision, and uh, I can't really see. It's all blurry. So oh. be just a minute. Okay, no worries. But I no, I can't see with my glasses on. Uh, you want me to make it bigger? Uh. Gooey. Okay. Uh, well, I can't see the picture. Which one? Over there. Gooey. 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 
คืนโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยอ uh, 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 ่ะโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอุยอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ Oh, oh, just, just the top two. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Gui, Gui, and Ui, Ui. Oh, uh, who? Uh, let's see who is Miss Marion. Miss Marion, did you want to pronounce those? Just those two sounds, those two. Not words? with your hand. You're gonna ruin it. Come get the cleaning thing. You tell my mom she doesn't have to go. Huh? You tell my mom she don't have to go. Are you talking about gooey? Ha, gooey? wolf, wolf, and over there. Okay. Okay, and gooey, gooey. So that's what. I, that's why I say over there. Good so, gooey so, and gooey, gooey. Hold go. Aho. Wolf is around. Going to take. Okay. Ha. Aho, Miss Marion. Okay, so now it's us learners' turn. And what we do is we usually try to go, we decide on an order. And so I usually just go down the participant list and see who's all on the screen. So, first off, if you could put in the chat, if you're not able to uh, speak on audio, um, please put it, put it in the chat. Let me know so that I don't call on you. Um, So let me go to, okay, I see. So I usually go first and then I just go down the list. And so I see Carlo next, then uh, Thabi, and then I'm, go I'm making my list in the chat, hey, Tha. And then Angie, Caleb, um, and then Uh, let's see. And then Guto Hintali, and then Aunt Carolyn, did you want to pronounce when it's your turn? You want me to put you on the list? Yeah, go ahead. Oh. Okay. Uh -huh. Um, I'll put it in the chat here in a second. And then uh, after Aunt Carolyn, then Gabby. You'll go after her, and then h e n t e m a Cricket. You'll go after Gabby, and then let's see who else. Who else we got? Kathy, then Merlina, Travis. I think that's our list. Uh, let's see. Did I miss anyone? Okay. All right. Let's see if we can just get through these three vowels because these are really important sounds. So everyone should see the chat. So, anko, ui, gui, gui, ui, 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 ui. Oh, Angie. Gui, gui, oi, oi. Ah ho, Caleb. Gui, 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 oi. Ha, ah ho, uh, guto hi tali. Gui, gui. Ah ho. Carolyn. Oi. 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 Doi. 
I think we're just doing UI, right? Oh, okay. Well, I'm doing all. I'm finished. <laughs> You're done. <Yay>! Yay! <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh -oh. Okay. Uh, Gabby, would you like to try? Ooey, oi. Gooey, ooey. Oh. Goi batole matan also. Okay. Gooey. One more. Is cricket before me? I was oh, supposed to be but go ahead, Marlena. Oh, oh. I'm sorry, cricket. My bad. I said. Okay. <laughs> go ahead, Marlena. Okay. Gooey. Ooey. Oh, okay, cricket. Sorry. Okay. Gooey. Gooey. Oh, Travis. Gooey and ooey. And if you say ooey, stretch it way over there. Way over there. Stick the uh, lip. Oh, yeah. We, lips? we have to put our faces <laughs> on so our lips, we can see them stretched out with ooey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ooh, talk, uh, yeah. Ooh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, Grandma, your lips went way out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's always the, the favorite saying uh, for my students is when they say, ooh, and they crack up. <laughs> that's a fun one. All right. Uh, okay. So, really quick for our from our mentors, did you have any feedback for us? Okay. Let's go to the next one. So now we're going to do this next set of uh, sounds. And again, there's no. Um, I think it says there's no English pronunciation. There's no English equivalent. So this is a new sound for anyone who's just spoken English. Um, all right, so let's start back with our mentors. So uh, Ogu, come on. Okay, the sound is oi, oi, and doi. Oi, doi. Oi. Oh. Oh. Uh, who was next? Uh, Grandma Dorothy? No, kid. Go ahead. Oh, okay. Uh, oh. Um, Grandma D? And or. Or and or. Uh -ho. Uh, Miss Belma. Oi, oi. Doi. Oi, oi. Doi. <laughs> I'm getting confused. <laughs> Over there, oi, oi. So, and then, uh, do oh uh do 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 <laughs> it's like we say it too much and then it makes it's like confusing i know it it's uh it's now confusing it's when i see Don't it worry. written it, it... <laughs> okay uh i think this is the one where uh dane said to say if you say the word uh doughy like like if you're making fry bread dough and it's doughy 
that's kind of a similar sound to this sound. Is that oi, 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 I think. Hatsoha, Grandma Martha. Yeah, that sound, that doi sound. Doi. Doi. So oh. that's right. If you made your fry bread too doughy. Doughy. Oh. How you say it, doughy? Okay. Doughy. Oh, I like that. That's doughy. it. Okay. With a little Boston accent. <laughs> <laughs> I need to write those little tricks that Dane has down, those English trick words, you know, that you can get those down. Like that. Oh. Or cat. You know, the sound for so tight. Oh, <laughs> okay. Ready to practice? Um, so, oi, doi, doi. Oh my gosh! Now I sound crazy. All right, <laughs> Carlo, you're up. <laughs> oh, oi, doi, oi, doi. Oh, Dobbin. Oi, oi, doi. Oh, Angie. Oi, oi, doi, doi. Oh, Caleb. Oi, doi. Oh, good though, he told me. Oi, doi. Oh, Aunt Carolyn. Did I say it? She said that before. She said it. You already did it. Oi, doi. <laughs> oh, sorry. Uh, Gabby. Oi, doi. Oh. I'm scared. Okay, here we go. Wait, hey, oh. stop. Hey, stop. Hey, Tema. Hey, Tema. Okay. Oi. Yeah. Okay. I'm. I think I'm supposed to go after Gabby. Okay. No, I'm after Gabby. Uh, hold on. It's uh. Let me put it in the chat again. It it goes Gabby then Cricket then Kathy. Oh. Okay. My bad. <laughs> um. So uh. Because sometimes people are saying oi, and some people are saying it like if it's doughy, then it's oi. So I'm getting confused. Do I say oi or doey? I mean, do I say oi or oi? That's my question. So I'm going to say it. If it's doey, like too much dough, then I'm going to say oi and doey. I don't know. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong. Oi and doey. That's a, um, it's my turn anyway, so. I said it. <laughs> um, Ogu Goma, can you uh, correct us? Are we saying it? Yeah. You guys both are doing real good on your pronunciation. But if you look at the left over there and see the way the sound is written there, it's oi and doi. Oi and doi. Because that O has to be in that sound. Oi and doi. Aho. Uh -oh. That's helpful. All right. Uh more like boy, not doughy, not the O sound. I o. Yes, I think you said boy last night is what it sounded like last week. <laughs> so it's She's not boy. Doughy, boy. It's boy. So it's a oi sound. Yeah, like toy. toy. Melody said toy, right? Toy. Toy, toy. Yeah, no, same now. Toy. Martha. Yeah. Martha, well. Can you use that? Can you uh, do uh, uh, use that in the sentence? The toy. 
Doi. The first one or the second? Well, second yeah, one? the second one, D-O-I. Okay, uh, like there, for instance, if you put more words in, it'll make more sense to you. Or if you say yeah. the part of it. Yeah. So the bottom one, she's asking for um example. And I'll say, um, talking about somebody, I'll say, doi, Sean. Somebody's too short. Or doi, eight. Doi, Somebody's eight. too big. Oh, you know? okay, okay, okay. Now I got it. I got it. Now I, now I recognize the word. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Doi, Sean. Aho. So that would be oi, more yeah. like oi. Doi, Sean. Doi. So it's got oi the and doi. Uh huh. The oi sound, not an oe. Uh -huh. It's a, really an o. You got to think about the first letter, that o. Doi. Aho. That's helpful. Uh, let's see. Uh, Merlina, do you want to practice this one? Ha. Oi. Doi. Travis? Uh, oi, doi. Uh -ho. All right, we'll do this last one here. Okay, uh, so good, come on. Oh, okay, that sound over to the left is it's an AU sound, they use it in other words too. Oi, and oi, uh. Think about that word, oi. So the word for medicine there is doi. You got to have the a u sound, doi. And for many things, it's oi. I'm oi. I'm all oi. Something like that, you know. Aho. Uh um, let's see who. Uh, Grandma Dorothy, did you want to go next? <laughs> Okay. Oh. Um. Be hope, Grandma. Grandma D. Medicine. Oh, door. I can't see. Me. I have to get up close. Oi. Doi and oi. Yeah. Oi. Medicine and many. Okay. See. Oi is many. Doi is medicine. Dealers, Edgar Gulil's. Taiwan name, wasn't it? Guna Oi? Oh. Lot of tipi poles. Aho, uh, Miss Velma? Can anybody hear me? Paul. Oh. Um, my, my battery is about gone. Uh oh. Oh, Grandma. Well, I think this is just the last thing that we're practicing is these two. Okay. Well, if it if I go out, it means it went out. Ha. <laughs> oh. Well, Grandma, if it if it goes out, then uh um. Hey, got um, oi, don't talk to. Oh, oh. Um, but we'll uh, we still see you for now. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, okay. Uh, all right. Did uh, okay. Ah, uh, so. Doi, oi. Doi, oi.
Um, I forget. Oh, Carlo. Uh, Paul, can you hear me? Paul. Hello. Yeah, we can. Paul. Ah, uh, doi. Oi. Doi. Oi. 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 I'm sorry. Oi. Doi. Oi. Doi. Doi. Oi. Doi. Oi. Doi. Oi. Aunt Carolyn? Okay. Oi, doi, oi. Oh, Gabby? Doi, oi. Doi, oi. Doi, oi. Doi, oi. Doi, oi. Haw, Obaha. I think uh, so. We still have to do our nasal practicing and then our consonants. So we will stop there because we're a little bit over time, but you know, it's all good. Uh, let me stop sharing. And uh, just again, thank you everyone for taking the time. Oh, I guess Grandma Grandma Dorothy's battery went out. <laughs> um, so with that, uh, let's uh, go ahead and close up our session tonight. Melody, Melody. Okay. hey, okay. Thaw, just want to just want to imply, you know, um, being around my 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 grandpa's around the drum. Um, so I know one thing is on that oi, is that war mother son says oi the goo, ai kai to ya. I do ya. Hey, ah, hey, ah, hey, nah, hey, ya. Just want to imply that in there that with this, it's it, uh, uh, learning how what sound comes from and then writing it versus hearing it. Because my grandpas were old when, when they had set me down. And then, you know, we, we, we catch on as it goes. And that's something that, 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 that I hold dear to. You know, so just want to imply on that sound on um, verses, you know, when phrases and stuff, it's, it's even in our songs. I had Grandma Dorothy had mentioned Obaha. Oh, oh, that's awesome. Appreciate that. That's a good connection. I know Grandma Dorothy would be super excited if she was still on here. She loves, that's her favorite thing to do is translating those songs. So <laughs> she'll, um, when she hears the recording, she'll be real excited. Oh. Uh -ho. Uh, let's see for our uh, closing prayer. Um, who do our mentors? Um, Grandma D, Pihok Yama, Bay Dot, Sai, if you're able to. My daughter, the pan man, the only daughter, the donkey, and the only. I caught the cock at home, boy, don't get caught. I'm in the town, pay the but Tom thought the Kiago, Jemo Hamer, no, hi, I'm Tom, pay the. Get cartoons on it, or they call it a dog. 
Tāji tā āmēn te tō. E ānda dā ki āne ōn tāma kārtunge e tāte o le gā hē gā āngar e tōp dā dā ki āte āve bārdi tā le kāve āmde kēm dā dā ki a hōde de ānde kōte dā 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 e dēn hī tā sā dā 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 tē kā dā 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 kī kā kī dā 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 kī nā ām dē kī ēn dā yam dā kī hā kī dā 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 Aho. 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 All right. Awesome. Any last comments before we close out? All right, we'll see you next Wednesday. And some of you, um, hopefully we'll get to see you on Sunday. So, all right. Good luck, everybody, on their classes tomorrow, opening uh, your classes. I don't know if uh, anybody's still in here with that. But, uh, yeah, so good luck, girls. Uh -huh. uh -huh. And what's the native vote? It's coming uh -huh. around. Make sure you register. All right. Uh -huh. that's <laughs> <Aww>. <laughs> hey, God, but oi, bon, da. Have a good evening, everyone.